1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. who may have overindulged and overslept. But it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Today is Reclamation Day. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family.
been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Sir, Such a huge responsibility. Hello. Finally, I feel just know that Vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. This is the Overseer, signing off. Reclamation Day. How exciting! Lots of water out there, almost all of it. Sponge. So wonderful that 